Kay here and welcome to another edition of Ragged Makeup TV brought to you by uh, this lady right here. Before we get started, remember you can go on over to my Facebook page, Ragged Makeup TV, check that out and give it a big old thumbs up. You can also stalk me on social media by going out to Instagram and checking out Ragged Makeup TV, Twitter at Sammy underscore Jane, and also my blog, theraggedlife.blogspot.com for daily posts and just information on all things ragged in my life. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen a couple of photographs that I posted. One had me uh, looking pretty ratchet because I was coloring my hair, and I haven't colored my hair at home in about a decade. I have three, yes, three hairdressers that I uh, frequent. One is my cousin, one is a very dear friend, and the other one became a very dear friend. And I kind of rotate between the three of them because they each have their own thing that they are phenomenal at when it comes to my hair. I am completely flat broke lately, and so my hair desperately needed a pick-me-up, and I didn't know what to do. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to color my hair at home. And I knew I was going to get my butt kicked by one or all three of them. And I went to Walgreens and I was on the color aisle and I wound up picking the Garnier Nutrice Nourishing Color Cream and I picked it up in the light golden blonde shade. This is the same shade that I picked for my daughter um, and what's really funny is even though they turned out similar on our heads, they are not exactly the same, which I think is pretty cool. Now, of course, in my best dreams, this is how my hair would have turned out. Instead, it's more of a medium golden blonde, I would say. I really, really, really like the color. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture right here of my hair before and a picture right here of my hair after. Um, first review. For, for, first thing to say about this little baby right here very creamy very creamy when they say it's a no drip formula they are not kidding this stuff did not drip anywhere when it did it was my own fault because I don't use the bottle I have a container I have a brush and I paint the hair color onto my hair um I do agree when it says silkier shinier more nourished hair because my hair actually felt fabulous and we are four days in or three or four days in since I colored my hair and it still feels really, really good. One thing that I do not agree with, the fruit oil concentrate, the stuff that they have you put in after you've mixed the color and the bleach, yeah, it's supposed to make it smell really good. No, 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 it doesn't. It still smells like, like chemical. I mean, there's no getting around it. And the way that I do my hair is I start at the bottom and work my way to the top and then I, as I section it off and I don't pin it. And so I kept having sections of my f crown fall in front of my face and then I'd breathe in and I'd choke and I'd have to like step out of the bathroom because I couldn't breathe and my eyes were watering. So yeah, no disrespect Garnier, but that fruit oil really doesn't help the smell at all. It's kind of like a uh, fruity poison that you're smelling, which obviously is not a great thing to be saying. Now, if you have not used Garnier before, I'm going to read to you Zibac of Zibox so you know what it is about. It says, experience Garnier Nutrice, the only color cream with grapeseed oil and a nourishing avocado and olive and shade conditioner. It gives your hair rich, radiant color from root to tip with 100% gray coverage. I do believe that if I had gray hair, it would have completely covered it. So they get one muffin for that. I, I honestly, like it covered everything. Nourishing. Nutrice with a separate ampule of grapeseed oil starts nourishing while you color. Its unique formula protects against dryness while locking in your radiant color and moisture. The nourishing avocado conditioner is infused with two more fruit oils, olive and shea, for silkier, softer, healthier looking hair. And then softer has a little asterisk right next to it, and then under that it's a, the asterisk says that's versus the previous formula that they had. And then easy application. Enjoy coloring your hair with Garnier Nutrice. The non-drip cream formula spreads easily and smells great while you color. Like I said before, I know it doesn't. One of the things I find really cool on the box is right here you have a little skew. And it says, scan this QR code reader, scan this with a QR code reader on your, on your smartphone. Um, and you can watch a how-to video. I thought that was pretty cool. Like I said, I really like this, and yeah. 
I'm going to give this four muffins out of five because as far as a home color, this stuff did hit it out of the ballpark for me and one bottle completely covered my hair. And you guys have seen my hair down. It comes down to the middle of my back. So um, the fact that one bottle of this covered my entire head is amazing. Now I do think part of that is because I used a brush and I used a bowl and then I didn't use the bottle. I could be completely wrong. So I had purchased two bottles because I figured I'd have to break into the second one. Didn't have to, so when it's time to do my roots, I have enough to do mine and my daughter's, which is great. I really like it. It was $6.99 because it was on sale at Walgreens. $7.99 regularly. I think that is very easy on your budget. It's easy on your pocketbook. It doesn't damage your hair too much, which is great. I mean, anytime you color your hair, whether you do it at home or you do it at a salon, you're going to have some damaged hair. Now, let's talk about the donut just for a minute. A, I was having a really bad hair day. B, if you watched my previous videos, you know I had a complete and utter meltdown. So, C, my ends are fried. I mean, well, they were fried before. They were just, I've got split ends up the wazoo, so. Now, this is where you, my loyal ragamuffins, come in. Because I'm hoping that you will help me decide what to do with this mop on top of my head. Do I, A, just trim it and leave it like it is? Do I B, leave it long but have layers cut in? Do I C, go ahead and chop it up just above my shoulders? Or do I D, throw caution to the wind and completely hack it off a la Jenna Elfman? Go ahead and leave your vote for which hairstyle you think I should go for below in the comments. And remember as always, everything that has been mentioned in this video or used on my face in some way or another will be mentioned below in the description box. Also, all of my social media information will be mentioned below as well. Please head over to my Facebook page, check it out, check out the blog, check out the Instagram, check out the Twitter. Tweet me, people. I would love to to talk to you. I think it would be great. And also, I'm getting really close to 100 subscribers, which is like really cool. So once we hit 100 subscribers, there will be a very, very, very special video coming your way. So again, like my Facebook page, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and remember there are new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to tell the ones that you love that you love them, and don't forget to love yourself, because that is the hardest thing that we can do. Until next time, see you then. Bye.